No way. Yeah, that's better than anything like it though. Jump. Your face looks round. Jump over the edge. Your face looks round, mate. I know, it looks round. Look at his face. face. Nigel, you put weight on. You put some timber on, mate. <laughs> well, you, you put weight on, bro. You have. That means you've been eating yeah. them chocolate cakes. <laughs> God, nice. Look at the size of you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> How you been, Dad? Oh uh, yeah. How you feeling? Yeah, feel good, man. It's really to uh, really it's getting in there, isn't it? It's what we sometimes. It's really to put on a good performance. Yeah. Uh, you can have the fun hand That's what I'm saying. Well, we can have it however he wants it because I'm a taker well, to him. Do you know what I mean? So it don't really, yeah. it don't really matter to me. To be honest, whatever, yeah. it, whatever happens in there, you know, our match, whatever. So. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you've got the power to laugh anyway. I don't think he's got the power to hold me off him. But then obviously. Yeah, that's just what I'm saying. Yeah, well, you know, cause I, was, I, was, I was watching, yeah. watching Porter just lambasting them all over the bloody place. Yeah, I was watching, fight, I I was watching it today. You know. Okay, do you know what? I love seeing content of you that I ain't seen before because I've seen everything. So when Sky Paul brings out the bag like that and, and old footage of you, it's like quite cool. Do you know what I mean? I don't care what you say, it was a good old days, mate. We can talk about that, mate. It was a good old days, mate. You, you know they're taking him away from us. You was a better, <laughs> I know something, you was a better dancer than me anyway, mate. 100%, mate. 100%. Play day. Funny Sean's being put in the box. Serious Sean. Serious Sean's out today. No laughing and joking today, it's fucking on today. Good man, waiting, ready to go. Good sleep? Yeah, slept well. Best sleep yet. <laughs> I sleep good, so I'm happy to, now it's fight day, yes. I love to fight, so today is fight day. All the training, now it's all over, no waiting more, only the last hours, so it's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 It's gonna be a cracking night. Great night of fights. Great night of fights. It's about prestige worldwide TV nowadays. I mean, jab boxing going into association, bringing our own content, which. All the content you have filmed with me is trade by you by T Little PLC, and um, we will be getting in contract. You can either sign the disclaimer that you have to pay us out for the footage I've given you, and the viewers you have received by me, and unless I get a 50 grand bonus, fights off. I ask for a job everywhere because I'm currently jobless. <laughs> this was lucky. Like, you, you will see me Tuesday morning down Hatfield Job Centre, hey, really even though I'm going to win, I will be there for me gyro. <laughs> Can't wait man, can't wait to get in there. Yeah, I had a nice early night, slept straight through though, had like 12 hours. Fabio stuck in Lati in between round four and six. Alan Babbitt stuck in Tom Lopo in the first three. Maximum violence tonight, bitch. Hey. Hey, Bendis. I'm running, man. 
What's happening? We're out here doing a couple laps, a couple lengths, keeping ourselves active, getting a bit of the cold, fresh air. You cannot beat London's freezing cold weather. But we're here, we're out here. It's almost fight time. We're ready to go, just getting the last couple of steps in. 10,000 steps. It's the goal when it done, 10,000 steps. 10,000 10, steps, and then when I get in the ring, it's non negotiable, then 10,000 steps, it's got to be done. Um, and that's all, really, that's all there is to it. Almost go time. Let's go. Dara, is there any chance we can go in the last one? Yeah, it wasn't. It's just because I've uh, got this again. So I look sad, bro. Yeah, yeah, Sam. Yeah, man, we're blasting tunes out. We're getting psyched up. He's going to be slapping me in the face and everything to, you know. Tonight, we dine in hell. And I'm done. Go, champ. Go in, mate. Go in. Go in the zone. Let the storm in Florida. Good luck, boys. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Good luck, mate. Thanks, Enjoy yourself. Ball. It's not about having a fucking ball, it's about having a terror. Oh, no. Good. Good. Remember, winner stays on. Winner staying on. All right? Good man. Boys. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Remember, he got you, yeah? I know. He's yeah. fucking told me a lot about you. I know. I'm going to make sure I Good. do it. Good. Go and prove it. Make him right. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Good luck. Cheers. Good luck, boys. Okay. Good luck, yeah. Good luck. Appreciate it. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah. Remember, we'll remember, he got you this opportunity. I know, I know. I so make the most of it. Well. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. See the team cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Oh, Mate, right? Good, you. You all right? Yeah, you're rough around, man. Good. Good luck, boys. Good luck. I mean, listen. I just saw you on the pads. You two earlier. Looking very sharp, looking very sharp. Listen, there's not nothing he can do. Any time I've got nervous, and I swear this, Eddie, any time I've got nervous, because I ain't got nervous in six years, it's the first fight I ever got nervous, ever. I watch him, and then I'm You're nervous now? I'm not nervous now, just you just want to go, I want to go. Yeah, that's, that's because you know you put the work in. Yeah, Normally you don't expect yourself to win. You just yeah. talk a good game. Now you've talked a good game, but you expect to win. That's the I difference. Well, it's all there for both of you. Good luck. Your winner, 
by RSC and the new English Bantamweight Champion, Liam Davies. Liam, you just need to see the doctor before you go anywhere, mate. No. Yeah, SES Wembley. Thank you very much. Woo! Made up, yeah. I fought a box well, pacing myself for the 10 rounds, and um, that's why when I hit once or twice, I didn't go too mad of it because I knew it was a long fight. And you know, you're not allowed to speak, Paul. The room's here. <laughs> Come on, just... Yes, Paul. Yes, wrong. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll be down the gym in the week, yeah. Yeah, I love you so much, I'm so proud. I ain't doing no fucking circuit, though. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Go on, son! Hey! Woo! Yeah, of course I am. Hi, hi, Araya. No, that's me. Do you love me? I'm in the enforcer rules, which I will, but I'm also in the protection. The last thing I'm going to say is, I'm not the biggest guy in the world, but I'm the boss in there. Do you understand that? Okay? God bless. Be safe in there. Okay? Our boxer's ready, Mike. Ten seconds to the MC here, mate. Here comes the MC, mate. Bring your iPhone over here, yeah? Just hold you in. Five red on this, mate. We'll do what I can say, John, mate. I'll just hold you on for a bit while I'll tell you what I'm going Stand at the top there for us, yeah. On a perfect three fights, three victories. Fighting out of Barry, introducing Ben, the machine ridings. Ridings.
For your winner, from Harrow Wheel, yes! Jazz Smith. Done it, you've had your hand raised in victory. I, I can't put into words, I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm absolutely over the moon. You know, um, I took this fight on like five days' notice, and to be totally truthful, you know, I haven't been in the gym really training at all in the last few weeks. I just started back about a week and a bit ago, doing a little a run here and there, but nothing major. But I'm a fighting man, you know, I'll fight anyone, you know, and I, I knew tonight this was my night to, to shine. Get in there! <laughs> Oh man! This is it. Over the fucking moon! Oh, man, I needed it, yeah? I met you out with Marcel. 100%. I could even give him a round. Get in! A final message to Eddie Hearn, who was sat ringside. Very impressed with your performance. What message have you got for him? I'm sure you want to be back on one of these matchroom shows soon. Big thank you to Eddie Hearn and Matchroom, man. I really appreciate that. Get me back out there, baby! Hey, let's go! Buzzing! Yes! Oh man, I'm getting all emotional now, man. So for, for over the years, like, I've been going on these small shows, grafting and doing this and taking fights, and you know, now tonight I've gone out there and you know, a three out of ten Jess Smith has boxed like that. You know, I'm gonna get in that gym and on that grind, and you know, I'm right in the mix with all these fighters. Do you know what I mean? I'm right in the mix with them. Seconds out, round one. Alan, 
Yeah. Just through the duct before you go in there, Michael. Yes. Yes. Head's okay? Oh, yeah. Vision's okay? Yeah. Feeling sick at all? No. Okay, we'll see you properly in a bit. A lot of hard parts. I think I broke both of my knuckles on his head. So, yeah, it was pretty hard punches and uh, I'm very happy. But listen, this is what they do. I can do 10 times better than this. So, there are still answers because we'll never know till he steps up to those levels, but he's cruising past all these levels and he's really, really exciting. Anytime you get a heavyweight that goes in there like a wrecking ball and just destroying people, it's Old great school. TV. Mm -hmm. Old school. Nice job, my friend. Nice job. If you enjoy it, I know it was good. Nice I always ask you guys because you are the viewers. You give entertainment for the time. Yeah. They're like, what the fuck? They're walking up from all of that. Like, what the fuck? I'm gonna have to take it to the hospital. That's when I took you off pressure to cover it. Ah, savages! I did it. Very good, man. Everything is perfect. He's a team savage, brother. Guys, let me come around there. Who's the seat? Did it? Did it? It's a savage. It's not me. I punched too hard. Too hard. I punch too hard, uh, too hard. I broke my knuckle every single time. But it's good to go here, fuck it. seconds of round number two your winner by technical count out he's still undefeated Bobby Hoardley yeah feeling great I'm, I'm really happy with happy with the finish I think that finish in particular answered a few questions Obviously, I hope that Larty's okay, that he's healthy and everything's all good. Obviously, it's not nice to see a heavy boxer in that kind of shape afterwards. But I think 
that knockout there answered a few questions if ever I have single punch power, if I can Business really hang so out. well. I mean, the jab was beautiful, it set him up, and then a great round, right hand around the side of the head to finish it. I think he's moving at a great pace. That British title is going to free up, and you know, I, I think he should be fighting for that. Probably one more fight. He'll box on the January 30th Dylan White card as well, so he's keeping nice and busy. And then good stuff, good stuff, Fabio. Yeah, it's been good so far. And then Fab Fabio Wardley, I mean, last year we was expecting to be a test and we thought that was going to be a really, really hard fight. The first round, it was a little bit like, oh, this is, you know, this is like, got upset written all over it. But he stayed so calm, so disciplined, popping that jab, setting him up. And um, the finisher was great. I mean, he, he, he seemed to wobble him with a jab. Um, he took a step back, offer a jab, and then get hit with another jab. His legs look on set it, and then he went on him like a shot. Found the shot around the side and just cleaned him out. It's brilliant. Just watched Larty walk out of the ring. He looked really in a bad way and like un unsteady on his legs. So um, hopefully he's going to be all right. But that, that the way they ended on so quick it was. That's a real statement that is. Where am I going? Well done, Fabio. Just got a few more interviews backstage, mate. Yeah. So you've got Matt Troon first, Coogan, and then Rob Tebbett. Well done. Well done. It's a virtual shutout, isn't it, Dave? I think maybe gave him one round, two rounds for Mela tops, but impressive. Thought it was a great performance, great performance from Connor, and a great learning fight. You know, what I mean, stepped up the levels. One comfortably. How tough is Formella though? Unbelievable. Yeah, credit to Formella. Yeah. yeah, very tough, but a perfect performance and onwards and upwards. Hasn't boxed for over a year, never boxed behind closed doors before. Big, big performance. Yeah. 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 Y
All three for your winner. By unanimous decision, he's still undefeated and still the WBA Continental Welterweight Champion, Connor the Destroyer. Early in the fight, I thought his his body work was fantastic. His jab was excellent, and later on, it was a case of just trying to force the pressure and getting out there. He was a little bit reckless, but it's because he was taking chances, and he could afford to do that against Formella. There's other people calling me out. They got loads of Instagram followers. I don't care. They ain't benefiting me. I don't want it. The only big domestic I want is Kelly. And it's for people saying I'm scared and all that. Stop talking rubbish. That was so good, son. Oh, it's the best, mate. You're getting better and better. They talk, they're talking about Chris Jenkins. You're going past that. They're talking about uh, Josh Kelly. You do your own thing, mate. Don't worry about them. You do your own thing, mate. They said to the commentators, are you ready for Chris Jenkins? He already had that opportunity. You do what you got to do, mate. I love that, man. Go your path, not their path. Well done, son. Proud of you. That's why they always there to it. You know, I just stuck to my boxing. Um, I was hitting him with some hard shots. He's a tough guy. I just went 12 rounds with Sean Paul. And I think I'll be in more convincingly, but you know, I didn't lose a round. Rob, let me get his gloves off. Do you need to do it? Keep your head straight. How many fingers can you see? One. Just follow it across. Any double vision at all? No. I've done this. I've done this last time at your call, and I had my little sister and family over from Australia, and I was in here till about five in the morning. Con, you know what though? I don't think you was out of second gear. No, I don't there. think so. You see me, wasn't it? Number one. I love it. Would you, mate? What, man? And all those who want to disrespect me, they want. Chips, alright? Oh, I love you, man. I'm coming out. I'm gonna sort out coming. Yeah. Oh man, I need to see you. It's been too long. <laughs> she was bawling her eyes. She was bawling her eyes out earlier. How'd you see her? Oh, she was a state. Oh, you look. Oh, look. You look brand new. You were in bits before. <laughs> I've worked hard. Well, we got a good beat. We got a good beating. Let me call you. Let me call you guys after, okay? <laughs> um, I've got to do that. I've got to do that. I've got, you'll be up, I've got to do the U County doping, um, and then I've got to do a couple interviews, because Kogan's like, driving me mad, <laughs> yeah, Kogan's, dri Kogan's, Kogan's driving me mad. Are you putting everybody before your family? No, Kogan's blackmailing me and all that. I thought I was family, nice, what's going on? <laughs> oh, me, <man>, you ain't. <laughs> 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 oh, I love it, it's gone by.